afternoon. Just a quick share from an independent fiber farmer. This is Michelle. Um, this is a merino fleece. Um, it's being soaked. Um, I purchased off of Etsy, two pounds. Um, I have more information inside. And this is a BFL cross, uh, two pounds, that I, uh, very soft and bouncy. And the merino has a lot of, of lanolin in it. Um, it's been soaking for two days. Um, I did pull some out and rinse it. This, ooh, I'm trying to get my shadow. I am not a professional video maker. This is my BFL cross. Um, yes, there's still a little bit of vegetable matter in it, and the tips are still a little bit discolored. It's okay. Uh, this is not the last wash it will get. After I spin the yarn, it'll get washed again. Um, and I can over-dye it if I choose to do that. Okay, and this I took out. This is the Merino. Very nice. Long staple. Very nice. Again, some vegetable matter, some tips uh, are dirty. Not a big deal. Uh, I can over-dye it and it'll get washed one more time. Um, like I guess I soaked it for two days. A uh, little bit of Dawn in the water. This is incredibly, that's going to be super nice. Super nice. Okay, let's go in and get the information on that. <sighs> There's my ranger. <gasps> He's waiting on me. You know, it's been like a whole year. I looked back at my videos and I was quite shocked. Okay. Um, I'll let you stare at those for a minute and then I'll go over those. <laughs> uh, the Merino uh, is from Fox and Hound Merinos off of Etsy. Very reasonably priced. Very reasonably priced and the shipping was super fast. Um, Let's see, and the other one, the Blue Faced Lester Mix, two pounds, came from Gina Lester Fibers, again off of Etsy, and it was very reasonably priced. Uh, she did send me a picture of the fella. There we go. That's my Blue, blue Faced Lester Mix wool that I'm washing and soaking. Um, I also had purchased some Shetland. And I already kiped some of the merino earlier this week and washed it in the house <laughs> and hurry up and dried it so I could try it out because I couldn't wait to do the whole thing. Um, I, I just didn't have enough time here. I said we are a homestead and it's full functioning. So <laughs> this, is, this is garden season. There's never enough hours in the day. Okay, so I spun these up and I spun these up. Good Holy moly, Dylan shop. This is <laughs> Shetland and Merino um, that I've mixed. See, there is some vegetable matter, but I get that out when I spin. It just flicks right out. Um, I can't even tell you. I wish how soft. That is definitely going to be next to your skin soft. Because I dyed up this Shetland. Um, Shetland. From Rock Mills Farm. Uh, again, off of Etsy. Super reasonable. And this, this Shetland was very clean. Um, very nice. Again, fast shipping. But I dyed it a neon yellow. I just wanted a bright color. It is soft all by itself. I always assumed Shetland would have been a little bit scratchier, but... Very little vegetable matter, which will flick out when I spin, but very soft. I was, I was under the impression, like I said, it was scratchy for like the outer garments that lasted longer, like uh, a cardigan or a, a cowl or something, but I don't see why this couldn't be next to your skin soft. I, I believe it will be. So, um, and this is soft too. I cannot wait. But that is what's new on the farm today. Um, again, this is Independent Fiber Farm. This is Michelle. I just wanted to get a real quick video out. Uh, I do plan on starting up again with my videos. 
Uh, I've been a little busy medically. Uh, some things had to be taken care of, but uh, I will give you a quick spin on what I've been up to. So, there's my ranger. Okay, now these are washed up and not done yet. Off my alpacas. Um, that's a Romney. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. That is Romney. That's black alpaca. So that's what I've been washing. And I'm stretching. There we go. This is uh, a Lincoln Long Wool. And this is by Campbell's Farm Crafts. Lincoln Long Wool Sheep. Again, off of Etsy. Uh, I highly recommend these people. This had zero, almost zero vegetable matter. One or two pieces, and they weren't felted. They're, they're, I mean, I washed it, so any tiny pieces that might slightly be interweaved or felted was from me. What I got from them was very lustrous locks and grays, whites, blacks. I, I can't wait. I love to mix the colors. And uh, some of my, my other wools that aren't quite the best quality as far as there's way too much vegetable matter or... Um, super scratchy or I've just had it for a while and I just want to empty that bin so I can get I can justify ordering another one so I'm making them up into bats and I will spin them more than likely I'm probably going to either crochet or knit a rug out of them um, if I were to weave it would be good for weaving if you were to do a single ply you know you could weave it but I, I don't know how to weave so uh, it might be something like a rug um, or a dryer ball or something of that nature. Okay, and there's some bats that I have made up and listed. I know. And it doesn't hurt if they don't sell. I get to spin them. <laughs> okay, some of my mixes I have here. Wool and alpaca wool and llama and then the brown is from Petey my alpaca and the black is from my alpaca Fluffernutter she, she the name really does fit her I promise and then the wool the white 100% wool was donated to the shop I don't even know what breed it is uh, when I was a shop they donated it because they just don't do anything with their wool um, but it's a very sturdy, and it does take dye incredibly well. So we'll see how clean it gets when I spin it, because like I said, there's a lot of vegetable matter in those. Um, but they still have use. And then this is all white alpaca, or according to her paperwork, she's a fawn color. Uh, it's not, I guess the picture's making it look whiter than it is. It, it's more of a, a beige or like an off-white, um, but very soft. She always gives me very soft. There's my work in progress on Marino and Shelton, uh, Shetland. <laughs> and Icelandic. Um, I'm new to Icelandic, and I love the durability. Um, I'm, I'm not... I'm not going to say I don't like spinning it. I'm still going to give it its its due. I'm going to give it a fair shot and do some more spinning. Maybe I just need to get used to it. But I just don't seem to enjoy spinning Icelandic. But I'm still go I'm still going to give it a try. It, I've only done what four or five bats, so we'll try. Um, and these these I have spun up and I can uh, card up and I cannot wait. You see the Angelina? Plus your long wool, Angelina, and bamboo. I 
have to write tags for everything. My memory. My memory is about the size of a pea. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait. Wool, mohair, Tussa silk, Shetland, and Angelina. Move this over. I just keep a bag or something in the middle of each one so it's easier to pick them up. We've got a Lincoln long wool tussa silk and tensile top. I love to mix the fibers. Um, you never know how each one's going to behave differently with other fibers. So it, it's fun to mix them up. And are you probably getting seasick from my camera? Sorry. I am so sorry. This is just a prompt to, just to get back into the groove of it. Um, I'm, I'm nervous when I film normally, so I'm just not, and I'm, I'm not very experienced with the camera in general or video. Oh, my little bits of everything. Um, when I'm done with each bat and I clean off the carter, uh, the drum carter, um, usually gives me a little bit of color, whatever left, and I keep it off to the side. And when I get enough to mix with white wool, um, I just throw it in, add specks of color. So that's my little bits of everything for color. I got something else down here. I don't know what it is. Ooh. Let me see. Well, that's Romney and Llama, which is going to give me a brown and, and black kind of... I know, I wanted to... I didn't get down to the bottom of the other one. There's something under here. What's under here? Let me see. Ooh. Focus. Focus. There you go. People are going to hate this video. This woman's crazy. She needs help. Sometimes I do. That's your long wool. Angelina, Tessa silk, sorry, silk, and tensile top. Oh, that's going to be fun. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Over here. Um, Romney mohair, mulberry silk, and Angelina. Oh, sometimes I forget what I spin up. It's like a surprise to me. Oh, I see the Angelina now. See it? Sparkle? It's going to be black with silvery sparkles. Hmm. That would be interesting. I think that goes over here. So I'll just tuck it in there. That's why I use the bags to separate. Come off of me. There we go. I promise next time I will have the phone stationary. <laughs> that is just screaming Halloween. Oh, that'd be nice. Merino, Tussa Silk, Alpaca, and Tinsel Top. Nice. When you go through your own stash and it's like Christmas all over again, you may you or may not have, just saying, too many, too much wool. I, I can't even think, I, I can't believe I said that out loud. That's insane. Oh, there we go. It's about that bright, too. Uh, some sparkles in there. What do we got? Romney, Merino, Tinsel Top, and Angelina. Oh. That's going to be very nice. I should have made two of those. That's my problem. I always make one because I can't wait to see what the next color shows. And then when I get done spinning it, I, say, oh, I always wish I'd made another one so that I could do a larger project. That's very thin. What is that? Oh, mohair and silk. That's going to be very drapey. Very drapey. 
that's definitely going to be like shawl material. All right, let's put a bag. And our last little melon, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, look at that one. It's like Christmas all over again. Yay me. All right, what do we got? Sorry, silk, Romney, alpaca, mulberry silk. I absolutely, if I had to pick a fiber uh, to, that I like spinning, I would have to say the Romney is really super close to my, like, number one. Uh, as long as you get it a clean fleece and, you, you know, you don't have to pick out so many vegetable matters. But um, this one came super clean. I don't remember where I got it from. I don't remember where I got that one from either. I believe it came from Michigan, but super clean. I mean, I didn't even have to wash it before I spun it. Um, very rarely do I get to spin what, you know, what they call in the grease, you know, because it's usually dirty. Uh, there was no, it had to have been coated or something. Very super clean. Um, so I did cart it up and I'll spin it and I'll give it a good wash. Um, let's see. I've got lots of fiber to downsize. Lots and lots. What I got over here? Oh, that's my, um, that's Iris from, from my alpaca. This is already washed. Now her, her fleece takes dye so well. So well. I still have some Iceland. You like my fancy containers? <laughs> I think I stole every bucket from around the farm. Um, that's Icelandic. And I got mohair. And I have this much alpaca rug yarn from like their necks, their bellies, their legs, um, where it's quite long enough to spin, but definitely not soft uh, as far as wearing it next to your skin. Not even if you blend it with something. So, <laughs> rug yarn, dryer balls, felted bars of soap. What else can you do with it? Um, you can felt rugs. You can make bags. Anything that you're not going to wear. But I got all that from my Petey. Because he gives me a huge, huge fleece. Um, where is that bag? <clears throat> Are you dizzy yet? Do you see that bag right there? That is your standard white kitchen trash bag. That's his prime blanket. He is a Wakaya. Um, I only I only get to pet him for treats. Um, they're not tame. Uh, we had sheep and baby horses in the field, and they were protecting them. So I didn't want them to be super tame. I wanted them to protect their herd. Uh, but we could still catch them and bring them to the barn when we shear them and trim their hooves and stuff. And once you get the halter on him, he will lead uh, whoever owned him before us. So, I mean, he's not like wild. We just, you know, don't really, he's a guard animal, fiber. Do you see, that's a, that's a vintage playpen. I use practically anything, anything to keep my wool in it. But that is donated. Uh, people that we know around here, they just don't know what to do with it. And then we had um, COVID, which closed down a lot of places, um, fiber festivals and stuff. So they were not sending their fleeces to the mill to get processed into something that they could not sell. So they were just throwing their fleeces out. I mean, not that it's bad. I've had it for a while and I've really been tackling this, but there is some Merino in here. This is coarse or so I'm like a Suffolk, I think. So that's why I said, I, if it's soft, I use it. If it's coarse and it, it goes on the table to be turned into rug yarn. That's all the Romney I have left. Yeah, note to sell, a quarter more. We had uh, long wool sheep, and we did sell them. Um, 
that's oh, I can't get that out of there. Big 30 gallon black trash bag of black. Oh, and let me back up so I don't make you go blind. Um, Lester Longhole. Um, got a bag there of Lester Longhole. They were super nice. Uh, we never had a problem with them. Uh, hardy, hardy sheep. Uh, didn't hardly hurt anything. Uh, we could pet them and everything else. Now my ram did get a bit aggressive. Uh, at, he was like 275 pounds and he literally would back up and ram you. I'm just saying you could feel that. And so we decided on top of already deciding that we wanted to go to a different breed of sheep because the long wolves required uh, a lot of two shearings and then a coat, and it was just a lot. Uh, we're looking for a heritage breed that is a little easier to care for. I can purchase my Lester long wolves. Um, so we're, we're kind of tossing up between, my husband wants the baby doll, the Southdown baby doll. I think the fiber is a bit short for me. I, I would like to have some Shetland, but you know, we're tossing it up. You can throw me some ideas. Um, I don't want a super big breed and I don't want like a whole flock. So we're only looking to get maybe two or four, um, cause two or four fleeces can keep me busy for a year. I said, um, I've had some medical issues. I am a disabled veteran. And so I, I do have to pace myself. I'm not going to lie, that sucks. Because my mind goes, 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 and i <laughs> got to pace myself. Who does that? Oh. You like my mannequin? <laughs> I did this orange. is a out of the rug. Uh, yeah, the rug wool. Um, it was kind of soft. And I thought, well, maybe if I, I wash it again, I'll dye it, and I'll card it up, it'll get softer. And it did. I think once it is spun up that it would be fine next to the skin. But I did. I put it in roving. Well, my kind of roving. Not very professional. I'm not very professional. <laughs> you see, Ranger? He took all the pillows off the chair. Ranger. Ranger. Do you love your mommy? Yeah. He's my buddy. He's such a good boy. Nobody wanted him. He was a mutt uh, at nine weeks old. So we, we adopted him. He's ours. See, so he's three now. And he is one smart dog. Will not leave my side. He's my buddy. I love you, Ranger Danger. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to turn that into. There is a lot. There's a lot here. So, it's good. It's ready to go. I don't have to do very much for it. But this is just a, a, quick, a quick video just to get me back into the swing of things. Uh, like I said, I do want to start videoing again. Because um, there's really nobody fiber related around me that does this. And it, it can get, as fun as it is, it can get a bit, to be honest, lonely um, to find someone that speaks your language fiber wise would be awesome um, but you know one day I'll meet I'll meet my peoples <laughs> but this is Michelle from independent fiber farmer just giving you a quick look and a little seasickness there going on uh, sorry for the unprofessionalism I promise the next one will be better all right, talk to you guys later.